Transoral robotic surgery uh, really is in its infancy. It's been uh, developed uh, mostly out of the University of Pennsylvania in the last few years, and it's a way of using the Da Vinci robot uh, to address benign and malignant tumors of the head and neck. Uh, it allows us to access areas that previously we wouldn't have been able to access without the use of uh, more invasive procedures. Uh, and different technologies and allows us to really uh, focus on more minimally invasive uh, surgeries in addressing particularly cancers of the head and neck. I think for many patients the biggest benefit is being able to access tumors that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to get to without more invasive means such as surgically breaking the jawbone, such as uh, making cuts in the neck or pharynx potentially uh, involving uh, some important nerves and other structures. And this allows us to do everything through the mouth without cuts or incisions on the outside uh, to really access these tumors that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to get to. One of the biggest keys is that it allows me to work in 360 degrees of motion at a working distance of just a few inches under uh, the endoscope, whereas without the robot, we would have to work a significant distance away. We'd only have a very narrow field to operate in and a narrow field of vision. The robot really gives me the opportunity to work uh, under three-dimensional visualization and with instruments that can move in a full 360 degrees of, uh, of motion. And it allows me to work around corners to see around corners that otherwise I wouldn't be able to get to. I, I think that anytime there's new technology, there's excitement, but it also has to be tempered by knowing who's a good candidate for it, who's going to benefit most from it. I think that uh, it has its applications, and I think that um, being able to offer it as a component of our whole multidisciplinary care here at uh, the Wilmot Cancer Center uh, is just a great advance and is a great complement to the other services that we offer. I think it starts with having a discussion about with the patient about what the options are, uh, bringing that discussion to our multidisciplinary tumor board, other surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, uh, speech pathologists, our nursing team. Um, we work as a team really to figure out first what the options are and then individualize the approach to each patient so that they know what the best options for them might be and really help them to come to a decision rather than making a decision for them. So if we think that a patient would be a good candidate for the robotic surgery, that's presented along with another host of options uh, for treatment.